welcome back again to another video on my channel. So today we have uh, some things. Um, I don't know if I put these in the last video or not, but I did get in these. These are my, uh, they are LED, uh, the clearance lamps, right? So we have these. And obviously I'm going to have to splice this. I don't have the factory one, so I'm just going to cut this off, splice it into a, make my own little wire loom for it. That came with everything though, all these, but, so it's not today though. Today is these right here. So this right here. So let's get these undone and I'll show you what they are. <clears throat> that. Hopefully they're in here. The vent visors, right? So we have these, have the adhesive on it. I don't know what like brand adhesive is, but I'm sure they'll work. But I have wanted these forever for one of my trucks and take this off here. I've wanted these forever for one of my trucks. So today is the day I just got them in like two minutes ago and we will be installing these. So I'll see you out of my truck, all right? Okay, so we are going to start installing these right now. All right, so let's take these out here. Uh, let me see if I can set you guys up for a second and we can get these unwrapped. I don't really see anybody installing these on there, so. Uh, so, pretty much all they are. I mean, they're pretty thin, but I mean, they're just bent visors, so not a big deal. I do have some other things coming for this truck as well, or at least very, very soon here. Hopefully that's, that's gonna stay on there. Uh, so we will, Start the install on these, all right, guys. Uh, pretty much all it is is you put them on there. This is for the front passenger, so pretty straightforward. You pretty much put it on there. You leave a little bit of this left on there, kind of take this off, put it on there, peel them on or peel them off of there, peel the red off of there, and then uh, these will stay on there. <clears throat> so I'm gonna get all these unwrapped. <clears throat> There's the first one. Stuck in here like this. Let's try to make sure that none of these none of the adhesive comes off of here. These were like 36 bucks, I believe, on Amazon. So that's pretty cheap. I believe they're the ones that always run like 60 bucks. So it's not too bad, you know, but I mean 36 bucks is cheaper. So hopefully I don't have to get new ones. I hope these will last me a while. Uh, yeah, so this is the yeah, the little right rear. So essentially passenger rear, which I will leave in. I'll leave these two in the package for right now. We'll do the front, we'll do the front. And then, uh, yeah, so let's, let's go out here. Let's take care of this one right now. I don't know if you can see me or not, pretty much. I mean, it's, it's probably better to clean these off instead of just doing this, but that's what I'm gonna do, because, yeah. <laughs> so, kind of just line it up over here. Do this. Take this, take this off a little bit right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but take this red off just a little bit. Kind of leave it up. So it'll come off. And my butt. So, so kind of leave that up there. Just kind of that one did not work. That, the adhesive on it is trash. Like I said before, they're cheap, so I'm gonna have to get with them on Amazon and hopefully, I, mean, I look kind of dumb. I guess it just only has the driver side and not the passenger side. But I'll put these these ones on. Hopefully, these will actually work so i gotta take the adhesive off before usually what i've seen is it's a little better adhesive and you can just kind of you know put it on there but not a big deal so let me get this done all right like i said it was a short video it would have been better if this front one worked 
but it did not. So I got this on there. Pretty good, I guess. They don't really come down as far as I would like them to. I may just go spend the $60 at freaking AutoZone and get those, but they don't look too bad. I mean, that one's a little bit higher just because I couldn't get it, otherwise it'll hit this. So I barely hit it just to the angle of it. So not a big deal, whatever. And these, this is pretty much on there as much as I can get it. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, that's not too bad. They'll work for now. <clears throat> I really got them for a purpose <clears throat> because I like to have my windows down, but it'll kind of take some of that hot air out of there if I'm driving with the window down or whatever. Uh, so yeah, next the next video will be probably the installation of this. And so I've decided one more thing before I let the video or turn the video off. Um, I am going to go with a three inch lift and the 305s. Me personally, I don't really, I'm not really too big on lifted trucks, but you know, that's just what it is. So essentially, I put it on Facebook before and people were saying a bunch of different things, but essentially, all I have to do, I can leave these control arms, unlike other people say, leave the control arms. I'm going to leave these shocks, these are three to six inch Fox shocks, take out this. So essentially, what you do is you jack it up, put on jack hands, raise up the axle, disconnect that. Take out, uh, take out the shock, take out the coil, and then obviously you drop the axle down first and then you drop out the coil. Put the new coil on there, put the, new, put the shock in there, disc, or connect that back up, and then your business in the back is just gonna be a, a two inch block rubber comes with a rough country lift. So, yeah, stay, stay tuned for the next video. That'll be cabinet install, which is gonna be kind of, uh, I'm gonna make that two parts. It's not like an hour long video, uh, but it's, it should be pretty simple. You drop it on the front of the headliner, line everything up, drill the holes, connect everything, do all that good stuff. I do have these. Uh, I would recommend definitely getting these. The Adai fuses. So you guys don't have to tap into anything. And yeah, should be good. So I'm going to get one of these. A uh, new one of those. And yeah, it'll be good to go. If you guys have any questions, put it down in the comments. Uh, if you guys like this video, go ahead and cl click that thumbs up. And uh, <clears throat> follow the Instagram. And I'll see you guys next time. America.